Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating a detector based on minimum probability of error. So, given the following model, that is under null hypothesis H0, we have x of n is equal to w of n, that is x of n is basically noise for values of n equal to 0 to n minus 1. Under alternate hypothesis H1, we have x of n is equal to a DC level A plus the noise W of n. So, we assume that the noise W of n follows a Gaussian distribution with mean 0 and variance equal to sigma square. From a previous video, we know that the test corresponding to minimum probability is given by the likelihood ratio probability of x under H1 over probability of x under H0 should be greater than the ratio of the prior probabilities P of H0 over P of H1. So, this is the test corresponding to minimum probability of error. So, given that the prior probabilities P of H0 is equal to P of H1, that is prior probabilities are both equal and thus equal to 1 by 2, then the test becomes probability of x given H1, that is likelihood probability of x given H1 over likelihood of x given H0 should be greater than 1. So, the threshold basically becomes equal to 1. Now, we have to construct the likelihood probabilities, that is probability of x given H1, which is clearly equal to 1 by 2 pi sigma square over n by 2, that is the normalizing constant multiplied by exponential of minus summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n minus a whole square divided by 2 times sigma square. So, this is the model for the observations under alternate hypothesis H1. Under the null hypothesis, the probability distribution is given by 2 pi sigma square power minus n by 2, that is 1 by 2 pi sigma square power n by 2, that is the normalizing constant multiplied by exponential of the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n over 2 times sigma square. Once we have these two probabilistic models, we can set up the likelihood ratio test, that is probability of x given H1 over probability distribution of x given H0 is equal to the ratio of these two distributions, which is clearly equal to 1 by 2 pi sigma square power n by 2 multiplied by exponential exponential of minus sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n minus a whole square divided by 2 sigma square. And the denominator is 1 by 2 pi sigma square power n by 2 2 exponential of minus the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n over 2 times sigma square. So, this ratio should be greater than 1. Upon simplification, that is we can easily cancel the normalizing constants and we can also rewrite the exponential as minus sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n plus a square minus 2 times a times x of n over 2 sigma square. This term corresponds to the exponent in the first distribution. And then from the second distribution, we have plus sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n over 2 sigma square. So, this exponential should be greater than 1. We can see that the x square of n terms basically cancel each other. So, we are left with exponential of the sum of a square by 2 sigma square becomes minus n a square by 2 sigma square. Can be rewritten as, the second term can be rewritten as a by sigma square multiplied by the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n. And this, and since we have a second minus, this becomes plus. And this exponent should this exponential should be greater than 1 and now by taking logarithm on both sides 
we have a by sigma square multiplied by the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n minus n a square over 2 sigma square is greater than 0 since logarithm of 1 is 0. Upon further simplification this uh, test basically becomes x bar is greater than a by 2 since x bar is equal to 1 by n the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n which is nothing but the sample mean or this is the detection test that will have minimum probability of error. Now let us calculate the probability of error corresponding to this problem. So the probability of error is defined as PE is equal to probability that we decide H0 when H1 is true plus probability that we decide H1 when H0 is true. That is probability of making a mistake plus probability of a false alarm. So, and of course, weighted by the prior probabilities. So, P of E, that is the probability of error P E is equal to the prior probability P of H1 multiplied by probability of H0 given H1 plus P of H0, that is prior probability of null hypothesis H0 multiplied by P of H1 given H0. And since we assume that probability of H0 and probability of H1, that is prior probabilities are equal to 1 by 2. So, we have 1 by 2 multiplied by probability of H0 given H1 plus probability of H1 given H0. By definition, probability of H0 given H1 is clearly equal to the probability that x bar that is the test statistic x bar is less than a by 2 under h1 that is when x bar is less than a by 2 we basically decide h0 so that is the probability of making a mistake next we have probability that x bar is greater than a by 2 when h0 is true that is probability of a false alarm and this is equal to probability of h1 given h0 and since x bar is the sample mean, it has the following distributions. Under H0, x bar follows a normal distribution with mean equal to 0 and variance equal to sigma square over n. That is under H0. And it follows a normal distribution with mean equal to a and variance sigma square over n under H1. So, these are the, these are the distributions of this test statistic x bar under h0 and h1 respectively so by using this by using this information we can write the probability of error as pe is equal to 1 by 2 and by using the standard uh, random variable z as x bar minus the mean a over the variance the square root of the variance sigma square by n that is basically by using the central limit theorem we have the probability of x bar less than a by 2 under h1 becomes probability of z is less than a by 2 minus a over square root of sigma square by n plus by using the central limit theorem again on this probability we have probability of z is greater than a by 2 over square root of sigma square over n since the mean corresponding to h0 is 0. Now by using the definition of q function this probability is clearly equal to 1 minus q of minus a by 2 over square root of sigma square by n and this probability is equal to by definition q function at a by 2 over square root of sigma square by n and for a q function q of minus x is clearly equal to 1 minus q of x. This is true because of the symmetry of the Gaussian distribution with mean 0 and variance 1. So, by using this relation we can rewrite the probability of error as 1 by 2 multiplied by q of a by 2 
over square root of sigma square by n plus we have the same value q of a by 2 over square root of sigma square by n. Hence the probability of error for a DC level detection using minimum probability of error detector we have P e is equal to q of a by 2 over square root of sigma square by n. Thanks for watching.